All right, so let's do another example of finding a limit algebraically using L'Hopital's rule. In this example, we wanna to try to find the limit as x approaches infinity of the function e to the x over x squared. And remember, the first thing we should always do when trying to evaluate these limits is just evaluate them directly using direct substitution. So if we try to uh, plug in infinity or take the limit as x approaches infinity of the numerator and the denominator uh, independently, then what happens in the numerator, this is gonna be a bit of a abusive notation. It's just gonna speed things up for us a little bit. Well, if we try to plug in infinity, what we end up with is something that's gonna look like e to the power of infinity over infinity squared. And well, e to the power of infinity, as we saw earlier in the quarter, is going to approach infinity, and infinity squared or infinity times infinity is also going to approach infinity. So we tried to use direct substitution or evaluate our limits independently, and we've encountered one of our indeterminate quotients, infinity over infinity. So that means it is appropriate to use L'Hopital's rule here to try to evaluate this limit. All right, so now according to L'Hopital's rule, the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the x over x squared is gonna be equivalent to the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of e to the x divided by the derivative of x squared. Well, if we take the derivative of e to the x, nothing really happens. That function is equal to its own derivative and we take the derivative of x squared, we end up with 2x. So we've applied L'Hopital's rule. Now we try our direct substitution or to evaluate our limits independently again. So if we take the limit of the numerator, well, we're gonna get that expression of e to the infinity again, or we're gonna look at what happens to e to the x as x approaches infinity. And then in the denominator, if we evaluate or take the limit as 2x approaches infinity, we're just basically getting two times infinity. Well, what's happening here, again, we encounter that indeterminate quotient, infinity over infinity, but when we run into this indeterminate form again after one application of L'Hopital's rule, what we do is we don't stop, give up, and go home. We just apply L'Hopital's rule again. We can keep applying L'Hopital's rule until the uh, limit figures itself out. The idea here is, well, our original function and our original limit gave us an indeterminate quotient. L'Hopital's rule says that that means that this limit is equivalent to this other limit, uh, the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the x over 2x, but that also gives us an indeterminate form. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule to this function to find another equivalent limit. We just have basically a chain of equivalencies here. So this limit is equivalent to this limit, which is equivalent to our original limit. So this third limit is also gonna be equivalent to the original one. Basically, you can apply L'Hopital's rule as many times as necessary. So if we try to apply it again, well, we're gonna get e to the x as our derivative of e to the x, and the derivative of 2x now is just gonna be two. And well, when we try to take the limit as x approaches infinity of this expression, something a little different happens, right? We get that kind of e to the infinity in the numerator, but now we just have the constant of two in the denominator, and that's going to approach infinity over two. But if you take a really big number and divide it by two, it's still gonna be really big. It's still gonna approach infinity. The limit as x approaches infinity of e to the x over x squared is actually infinity. This limit does not exist. It diverges. Our function increases without bound.